It's an interesting tree. I mean, one half of it is still alive, and the other half is like pointing in one direction. So if you were uh, a skeptic, you would say it's just coincidental that a tree fell. But if you're a believer, you would say that something did this and knocked it and said, hey, you're cool on this side, but this side, you're not cool. And uh, this is a fire road that leads to a bunch of campgrounds. So that's some interesting shit. I did see it coming in, but I didn't think about that. You know? Shit like this can make you a believer. But it's been here for a while. It's interesting stuff. While on the topic of Sasquatch, Bigfoot, bipedal, whatever you want to call it, um, there's uh, about three animals that went undetected for a century. Um, it's the red-tailed fox, the California grizzly, and a fisher, which is looks like a, you know, California wolverine. I don't know if I said wolverine. Um, looks like a weasel. And uh, they went a century without being seen, detected, or anything. It wasn't until technology was able to capture these animals. Uh, they put out game trail camps out there and uh, they were able to record them. And they captured, in the process, they were out capturing uh, the fisher and they captured the red-tailed fox. And they've also set up cameras to catch the California Wolverine. Now, sometime also during World War II, uh, these uh, Japanese soldiers were on this island in the Philippines and were instructed never to uh, give up but not kill themselves but not give up that island well these guys went 29 years in the jungle and I guess people forgot about them in the beginning they were trying to get them to get out but they still thought that it was propaganda by the allies so for the exception of the soldiers technology is what was able to capture these animals that hadn't been seen in the century. So, what I think, and my theory is, we need technology to advance in order for us to capture a bipedal out here. We need much more advancements. Um, I'm not saying that we need more game trail cams out here, or, you know, we need more drones. We need our technology in order to advance for us to capture anything. Um, maybe what people need to do is they need to make drones that allow you to put a flare on it and you know do the thermal stuff and survey a land at night. You know, I, I haven't seen anything like that. That would be interesting. Maybe someone will do that. So, technology, technology is what's needed in order for us to capture anything because there is grip of people out here doing shit, not just in this forest. I mean, I might be the only one doing it in this forest, but in other forests and hot spots, and they're getting nothing. They're putting up game cams and doing drones, and they're not getting shit. At least shit that's not straight concrete evidence. So maybe we need technology to jump a lot more. And then just maybe, just maybe, we'll capture something. I'm gonna keep it short today. It's a little windy, so I don't know if you guys could hear me. Well, just make sure you guys and gals subscribe and I will keep pumping out these videos. Um, I had some people talk shit that they didn't like that. It, you know, um, I'm walking with this perspective that maybe I should do it this way. And uh, you can see the beauty and density of my forest here. People say there isn't enough trees, but uh, I beg to differ. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys and gals subscribe. And I will keep pumping out these videos. It's interesting. Another one coming down this way. Some food for thought. Well, thanks for watching. I'll keep pumping out these videos.